What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We're kicking off our eFootball 2023 content this week, starting with the Juventus Club Selection Player Review. There's some good players in here. Obviously, the pick of them, I think, is Kisa. He is a monster. We're going to get into his stats in a second. But we've got some nice players here. But it is, in my opinion, a slightly disappointing player selection, especially for this stage of the game's life cycle. Because a lot of these players, you're going to have better players than them. Now, we are going to go over to eFootball DB. We are going to show you a couple of um, their like, maxed out stats and how I would train them. And we are going to start with the lowest rated players in terms of my rating of them. Um, and we are going to start with Chesney, who is on E form, which makes him pretty much uh, unusable this week. I would think even with his unwavering form there, his E player live update rating. And as well as that, you're not really going to have like, like massive stats with him. Um, when you do give a couple of points here and there, he's only got 21 levels to go. You can see there a very easy um, example of that. I mean, his reflexes and awareness only go up to 84, catching and clearing 81, and his jump 82. And like, I think just on the E form, that's going to be a big issue with this card. I think he's definitely a pass if you do get him. I wouldn't even waste my trainer points on him. You know, it's just not worth it in my opinion. Uh, we also have Keen. This guy, it's not Roy Keen, it's not Robbie Keen, it's Juventus's Keen and uh, Moise Keen, and he's one of the kind of players as well that's very skippable in this. I mean, I think the problem with a lot of these players, genuinely, is that you know everyone has like amazing players now. His inconsistent form is an issue, like, and it is going to be an issue this week and probably next week as well with the form Juve are on. And his rating, his live update rating is only a C as well. So, I mean, he does have some fairly decent shots or skills, such as first-time shot, rising shot, and dipping shot, long-range shooting. Um, his curl isn't that good, but if you are going to be getting him, you're looking to play him as kind of like a run and gun. And there's just so many players out there better than him, even if you don't have the likes of Romario, even if you don't have the likes of one of the top-tier centre-forwards. The likes of Lataro Martinez, um, you know, and them type of players that you can get for very, very cheap as a standard player. Like, you're going to be getting an 89 centre forward here, but 85 awareness, 87 acceleration, and 80 finishing is very, very low. Like, it's literally lower tier of centre forwards, in my opinion. And, you you know, you throw in the form as well as that, and it just makes him a non-runner, in my personal opinion. Opinion? Opinion. Kostic is an interesting one as well. Obviously, there's been a couple of different versions of Kostic. He was there on the nominating contracts as well a couple of weeks back in a player of the week. His standard card is actually fairly decent. It stacks up quite well to this one with 25 levels. This guy's got 29 levels, so it is a really good version of him. And he is a cross specialist. So if you do have a tall man in the box or you're playing a 4-3-3 or you're playing a 4-5-1 and you like to play possession out wide and swing the ball in a lot... He is a beast. He's got a lovely left foot on him. Um, he's kind of like the left foot of David Beckham in this game, in my opinion. Uh, some people like him. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the biggest problem with him, I think, is the fact, again, that he is on that E form. And like, it just, it, I don't know, man. It's just these players, like, you're not going to be playing him. He is unwavering form, but that live update is there at E. I would be playing Kostic as a defensive kind of midfielder, like a, as a defensive left left midfielder be able to track back he's got the passing that's able to you know you don't have to touch and go with him he's got like long range lofted passing that you can do and getting those pinpoint crosses in as well is vital if you want it if you want to use him but yeah i mean his dribbling is fine his passing is really good and his speed and acceleration and stamina are really good as well so i would be using him as kind of like an engine man in the middle of the pitch uh for left sided of the pitch i should say to be getting up and down and helping out your left back quite a lot you know um but he is a skip for me as well even if you do get him in my personal opinion i think he's just not worth it we also have bremer bremer is an interesting one because he's got extra front man he is on d form he does have unwavering form there as well um we will go back to danello in a second who's a who's a kind of a better player i like his stats his stats go up quite high as you can see there he's got some nice player skills he's got interception sliding tackle aerial superiority man marking and heading he does not have blocker when we do see him maxed out here there has been a couple of different versions of him as well obviously um the two juventus editions of him um i personally think this guy is a very good player he's very rugged and he you know he is a good man marker if you want to set him up as that 
Um, there's a lot of good center backs in the game that you can buy on standard form. But if you do spin him, I definitely think he's probably worth training up and testing out, even though he is on D form uh, with the live update. I do think that he is probably worth training up because he's got really nice defense stats, his speed and acceleration. You can kind of mess around with those. To be honest, you don't really need speed. Um, you know, 70 and 72 for the stamina is is OK if you wanted to throw another one into uh, physical contact. Uh, or you wanted to throw another one into defense that that is doable i think he's a fairly decent player at that any defender that gets over 19 defensive awareness and tackling is going to be a bit of a beast because the ai is so op overpowered at the moment and it literally holds your hand and does a lot for you similarly with danilo right there's been a couple of different versions of danilo um this guy has it all man i really like danilo he's one of my kind of players that i really have kind of slept on for a while even though every time i look at his stats they are insane interception and blocker he's got pinpoint crossing and low lofted pass so you don't need to worry about his passing stats at all you can literally just train him up pure defensively right so when we do train him up here yeah you know we don't need to mess around with anything other than what we want to train up so his dribbling is fine at four dexterity gets nine points lower body strength that is just to get him up and down the pitch kind of like Cafu or Roberto Carlos to be able to, able to cover every blade of grass and just get up and down as an offensive fullback and he also has blocker and interception as his defensive player skills that's going to be able to block a lot and lock a lot of passing lanes and stuff like that I still do think that the Brazil edition Brazilian edition of him was a monster um even though this guy goes to 91 overall, you know, this guy's got 33 levels compared to 26. So if you didn't get the Brazilian, uh, you know, player card, you're probably going to have missed out on the best version of him. But I still think that this guy goes fairly decent as a defensive right back. You're not going to be, you know, bombarding up front that often with him. He is just a pure stopper of a defensive right back, in my opinion. And he is a really good one at that. Is he better than Cancelo or Kimmich? In my opinion, no. So if you do get him, that is completely up to you. We have also got Locatelli here as well. Um, an interesting choice as well as a DMF. There's a lot of good DMFs there. I would personally uh, like to have seen him get blocker as well to make him, you know, at least be able to compete with the with the meta guys. I still think if you don't have Declan Rice, if you don't have Kanta, Kante, if you don't have Zakaria, if you don't have one of those kind of free or else standard edition of the players to buy, uh, I mean, you know, they outperform Locatelli in every aspect, really, and how they play and how they handle on, li on line with the AI and stuff. Um, I think he's just a very, you know, kind of like, he's just a very standard DMF, man. He doesn't excel in anything. Obviously, his defense is low 80s, his passing is high, uh, mid 80s, um, and his speed and stamina is quite decent as well. But not enough to actually, you know, I think spin for, in my personal opinion. We have also got... Um, uh, Vlahovic who is the second last player that we're going to feature here he goes to 21 levels nice stats as well he's got a wavering form he's on C uh, you know you kind of forget that Vlahovic is basically like Cristiano Ronaldo a couple of years ago in the Peds games that's what he's like he's got this you know the pace he doesn't have the dribbling but he has the pace the in aerial uh, the in air abilities and he also has a lot of shooting stats 89 finishing we trained him up here with seven shooting in the progression points 84 speed 82 acceleration 88 offensive awareness 80 stamina you know we don't need that much speed in my opinion like we could get that down to like 76 here or maybe 77 even and then put two more into acceleration to bring it up to 90 offensive awareness i think that's probably a better version of him um his dribbling is okay at that you know what you're going to be getting with him but yeah there's been a lot of different versions of him including the the um the the stars one there that we're featuring there and there's been a lot of different ones like great finishers there's been two of them um there's a lot of different cards of him i still think that this card is probably not going to make it into your final squad um but yeah that's probably just my opinion now the pick of him by a mile in this is not only the best card of this selection in my opinion i know danilo is good bremer is quite good as well if you're looking to upgrade your backs but i think kiesa is one of the best cards that they released of him right i know there's been different versions of him um and there is going to be a legend edition of kiesa coming as well uh hopefully back again but yeah i think this is probably one of the best cards that we have got of him obviously he starts off at an 84 and we're going to be able to have a look at 28 stats here 
Um, there's different versions of him out there. His standard card goes to level 29. So this guy is three overall more points. He's got better everything, pretty much acceleration, speed, stamina, dribbling, uh, tight possession is a big one with his standard card. And he's got uh, just one less player uh, level to go, right? So we've trained him up with 54 progression points. He is on D form, which is a bit of a pity, right? That is a bit of a pity. Um, but this is how we've trained him up. You can potentially have one of the best late game uh, subs right because he has super sub there as you see in the player skills you know you're going to be able to bring this guy on and what well, we have a very specific role there's going to be a lot of different ways to train him up but we have a very specific role for Kiesa because we've got Neymar and you know we've got Messi we've got Mbappe we've got a lot of options on the right flank Dembele but we will be using him as a super sub to bring him on in 70 minutes gone 20 25 minutes left and look at the stats that he has as a super sub right 89 balance 97 acceleration Ball control and dribbling are very decent. Dribbling is 94 and offensive awareness is 87. Stamina and speed, we don't need to worry about that, right? If you are going to be making a decision, okay, you don't need to worry about speed and about uh, stamina too much if you are just going to be bringing him on for that exact specific reason that I'm saying there is that you're going to be using him as a sub. You're not going to be having him in your starting. If you're having him in your starting, I would trade him up like that. 10 into dribbling, 13 into dexterity, and 6 into lower body just to get his stamina and speed up to last the full match. But if you are only bringing him on as a super sub, you don't need to worry about that. Get his speed to 80, give him one point into that, and then you can mess around with this and you can get his dribbling or else you can get 3 into his passing to bring up his passing depending on how you want to play him. There's lots of different ways that you can train him for uh, you know an immediate impact. You're going to have 98 acceleration that you get him on, right? You get him on in the, in the like 78 minute, man. And you are just going to be able to blitz a lot of people with pure speed. Like you'll be able to get the ball and just run at him. Um, and I think that that's why he offers a very, very interesting kind of player. If you don't want to go that hard, if you're like trying to make a more balanced player, you know, I'd put maybe maybe eight into that, into acceleration. And then you could boost up his speed a little bit to make him a little bit more, um, you know, kind of usable, so to speak. And then you could put a couple into passing as well. Um, or you could put a couple into shooting to get his curling off if you want a bit of finishing. And that's probably a better overall card. But I still think that his best assets are going to be bringing him on as a super sub not starting him bringing him on as a super sub with maybe the likes of Haaland who's also a super sub and maybe the likes of somebody else that is a super sub that can just change the game for you or else hold on to the game if you are winning so that is it for me lads I'll be back quite soon with some more player reviews we are working on a Declan Rice one I hope you guys enjoyed the Simmons one I put a lot of work into that hours and hours and hours of testing so let me know if there's anything else you guys want and we'll be back with Dream Team Chronicles we're going to be starting with a new squad quite soon until next time I will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe peace